Hello, good morning. It is Friday the 18th of March and I have got to chapter 73 now from chapter 62. I did not actually do any vlogging yesterday due to family commitments. So <clears throat> at the moment I am on page 100, sorry, 421. I still need to finish the book. I was hoping to have got it finished actually before the weekend. In Before We Collided, which is the second book in the after collection, there are actually 671 pages. So I've still got quite a few hundred pages to still read from this book. But again, I'm kind of getting to the point now with these books that although I'm kind of like persevering with them, it's why are you still with this person? I mean, recently they've even looked after Smith, who is Vance's son, because he was sick. And you know what children are like, they're quite fickle. And Tess was kind of hoping that Smith would, would warm to her. And in fact, he wants to spend time with Harden. And he's asking him all these questions. Is this your wife? Are you going to get married? Who is this lady that lives with you? And he's like, no, no, we're not getting married. No, we're not having children. No. Why would I want that? And obviously she can hear what's going on and she's a little bit upset about it, to be honest. I mean, you know, they've gone back to work. She's gone back to college. He's gone back to college. I finally found out that he's 21 in a couple of weeks' time. She's just turned 19. So there's about a two-year age gap between the two characters. So even just with having that slightly different age gap and similar family backgrounds, but the dynamics being slightly different, that they aren't in the same place in this relationship. I mean... It, He's really treating her like garbage. And at the same time, she's got to the point now where she's given as good as she gets, which still proves how toxic the relationship is between them. I mean, also, you know, she gets drunk, he leaves her at a party, he goes home and gets completely wasted himself. Yeah, they're still together. She's gone back to college and he's been like really controlling of her, won't allow her to talk to certain people especially men so there's the whole control thing she's mine no one else can see her no one else can touch her no one else can be a part of her life yes he still tolerates Landon but he doesn't have a choice considering he lives at his father's house with his mother who's now in fact his stepmother so and he's their son so <laughs> um yeah, it is one of them where it is kind of very, still a very controlling situation. And at the same time, she's got her internship. She's happy in her job. But she's doing religious studies. I don't know why she's doing religious studies, but she is. And it's kind of put her off guard a little bit because through religious studies, there is no syllabus. And that isn't how they're going to assess you at the end of the academic year. So... It's very interesting to see how she copes with being on a course where there isn't actually any structure. I mean, it's bad enough being in a relationship with somebody who's so volatile and now it's sort of encroached through into her education and a little bit into her employment as well. So we shall see what happens and I will continue to read this book. Hopefully I will get it finished by Sunday and we'll take it from there. Thank you.